guys welcome back to my channel um it's been a while since i've actually sat down in front of the camera to record this video um to record a video in general so i'm a bit nervous again um as usual but today i'm bringing you something a little more in depth um basically what my channel is geared around and i'll go a little more into my personal life and my journey um to christianity so i hope you guys like it sit down relax Maybe grab some water or something. It'll be a bit of a long video. First, I wanted to share with you guys um, my journal. Um, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Um, and the rest of it says, and lean not onto your own understanding. So um, that's from Proverbs 3 verse 5. Basically reminding us that um, everything happens according to God's plan. And sometimes we might see something. Um, not going the way that we envisioned it or the way that we want it to be but trusting in God means letting go of like everything that we might think logically and just understanding that God's plan is better than our plan and leaning that onto our own understanding um, ties into us not um, looking at the situation and trying to interpret it for ourselves but trusting in God and trusting what he says is gonna happen that it will happen so Okay, so I actually recently started using this journal um, in the end of July, beginning of August. And um, as I was using the journal, I would do the um, my different bi Bible plans and Bible lessons and stuff. And as I'm writing it down, um, different things would come to my mind, different things that God wants me to share with you guys. And <laughs> every time I think about it I get nervous because I'm like me you chose me to do this like why me but you know we must remain obedient and we must not question why God chooses to do something again trusting in him and his plan like I'm not here on YouTube for fans or to become famous or anything like that but I'm here to make God famous right it's bigger than myself and sometimes I get really nervous about it but I need to understand that it's not about me so forget about fear and just do it anyway um, so I need to ignore that fear that I have in myself and um, just do what he said to do and understand that he's not giving me that spirit of fear so um, basically I want to continue the rest of this journey the rest of my story sharing um, what I've been through sharing um, how I came to become a Christian and how I drew closer to Christ and how I'm continuing with that journey even today um, and as I mentioned in my very first video I'm not perfect and I know I'm not perfect and I make that clear every time I come to the camera but I'm here doing something for Christ and for the people that he has um, for me to reach right and there's a few misunderstandings and this seems like it's going to be very long, so I'll try to condense it. Um, the question goes, what does it mean to be a Christian? And this was something that was on my heart for a while because a lot of people have their own understanding of what Christianity is. Whether it's about rules, whether it's about dipping yourself and getting baptized seven times until you're fully cleansed and renewed. I've heard it all, honestly. But um, that's not necessarily what Christianity is about. My understanding of Christianity, it's your relationship with Christ, your relationship with God, right? And that relationship we can build through Christ, through his son that he sent to die on the cross for our sins, right? Um, so I have a list here of things that um, make you Christian or things that are part of your Christian walk. Um, and they can go in either order depending on your relationship with Christ, right? So for me, number one is to understand that you're not perfect and that you've made mistakes along the way, right? And that also, most importantly, that God alone is perfect. So for me, I have been going back and forth, um, trying to remain in my calling, trying to make sure that I'm not doing things that are not Christ-like, like not partying, not cursing, not doing things that otherwise would not be a representation of Christ. And I would find myself slipping back into it and, you know, sinning time and time again and, you know, getting drunk and partying with friends and things like that. And I'm like, why can't I do this? You know, and I tried to do it on my own strength. And that's what I realized. Like, 
you can't do it on your own because again you're not perfect god alone is perfect so now how do we get to the point where we can ignore all of the temptation and all the trials that come our way and say god i'm only going to focus on you right and that is actually what i had to learn in order for me to continue with my christian walk because every time that i sinned every time that i failed i would beat myself up and i say i'll say like you know you say you want to be christian but look at what you're doing look at what you're doing with your life and i would make myself feel like such a horrible person and it's not me it's the enemy that's telling me all of this like you can't do it and he you know would be sitting down and laughing um every time that i failed but when I turned that around and I said, you know, I'm going to focus on God and I'm going to focus on his plan for my life and what he has in store for me. And I decided that, you know, I can't do this on my own strength, right? It's not by might, not by po power, but by the Holy Spirit, says the Lord. So I can't do it on my own will, right? I can't say, okay, I'm going to be Christian. I'm going to be perfect or I'm going to um, be Christian. I'm not going to do that thing that I did yesterday. You know, I'm going to turn my life around and we try to do it in our own power and our own strength and our own might but we forget about the holy spirit we forget that it's through the holy spirit that we're renewed and we try to do that on our own will and time again time and time again we're gonna fail so that was one thing that i had to learn and to understand that i can't do it on my own strength i can't do it on my own will right and this is going to be part of our segment or series called christian chronicles that's just number one but understanding that you're not perfect and understanding that you can't do it on your own will on your own strength on your own power but you have to rely on god you have to rely on jesus christ you have to rely on the holy spirit that holy trinity um the three in one that renews us and makes us whole right and after i realized that after i learned that um, my Christian walk became easier, you know, whenever I sin, instead of condemning myself and making myself feel horrible, the first thing that I do is I turn to Christ and I repent and I ask God, you know, guide me, you know, this thing that is my weakness, this thing that is causing me to fail you time and time again, guide me and help me to be able to overcome this, right? Help me to be able to turn my life around. So I'm going to challenge you guys um, with this first step. Is there something that you've been battling with, right? That is causing you to step back, to backslide, and to turn away from Christ or to want to give up with your Christian walk? Is there something that the enemy or even your friends have been telling you that, you know, making you feel like you really can't do it, right? I'm challenging you guys to turn that conversation around, turn that situation around and say, with Christ, I can do all things. Right? And if you believe in that, I encourage you to comment down below um, maybe a journey that you guys have been going through, maybe some challenges that you guys have had um, that you would like to share with us. And um, we can be able to have that dialogue about how you were able to overcome it or maybe it's something that you're struggling with right now. And right now, I'm also going to make an email for you guys that I'll link down below um, as well as on the screen an email address that you guys can reach out to me at and share your story and be able to keep each other accountable there is so much that we're going through in our daily lives that you know you can't just tell by looking at someone you can't tell what they're going through but it takes having that conversation with them it takes inquiring like you know are you okay is there something that you're dealing with is there something i can pray with you for right so even right now i'm gonna say a prayer um, for everyone um, Heavenly Father, we come into your presence today, O oh God. We ask for your help and for your guidance, Father. Father, help us to understand that everything that we may be battling with, everything that we may be that we may be dealing with, Father God, help us to understand, God, that you are the author and the finisher of our fate, O oh God, that with you all things are possible, O oh God. And to be able to understand that we cannot do it on our own strength, we cannot rely on our own wisdom and our own knowledge, Father, but to know that you, Father God, are the one that is guiding us, to know that we can do all things through Christ and that you are the one that renews us, O oh God. So we submit to your will and to your plan even right now, O oh God. And we ask that you have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel um give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below as well um anything that you would like to share with us with the youtube community also to my private email you can share even more personal things that you've been dealing with i look forward to hearing more from you and have a great day bye guys